What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. By now, you would know that the Gymshark summer sale, it's a thing, all right? It's a thing and it's happening June 29th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have not seen my ultimate sale guide video, definitely check that out. We run down everything you need to know about the sale. So in today's video, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at my current top five favorite Gymshark collections. Now, these are the collections as a whole. These collections are what I've been actually utilizing the most. Now you guys know I review a ton of Gymshark. I obviously have tried pretty much everything they have to offer. And you can also use these suggestions as a guide during the sale. In case you're new to Gymshark, you don't know what to look out for. These are just my personal favorites that I'm sharing with you today. I'd like to thank Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. So if you're just as excited as I am, definitely hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We have been talking Gymshark on this channel for literally years now. I think we're going on four solid years. And also I want to give you guys a big thank you for using my code Ashley G. As you guys know, this is not only a support code, but it's also a 10% discount code for you to use as well. It also works during the sale as well, so you can stack it on top of your discounts. So thank you guys so much if you do choose to use my code. Always let me know so I can share the love with you. Now the collections I'm about to talk about, they're in no particular order. P.S. Here are my measurements right over here, and I will also have them for you to reference in the description box below. Now without further ado, collection number one. I can't believe I'm about to say this. When I first got the Elevate in, I was like so-so about it, but I gave it a fair shot. And now the Elevate collection has quickly become one of my current favorites. Here's why. What I like about the Elevate collection, all right, you know I feel some type of way about that T-seam and that's all they've been really coming out with. But once I look past that, this collection is my quintessential athleisure collection. I find that these pieces are comfortable for all day wear. Whether or not I wanna entertain callous aesthetics in it, but most importantly for me, going for walks, going for coffee runs, anything athleisure out for the day, this is my collection. What I also appreciate about this collection is you can go for a pattern. They actually recently came out with this geometric style that I really favored. Or you can go for more of a tie-dye, cloud, that spray dye look. Or if you're into more of a solid neutral look, they also got you covered there too. Now, the sports bras are dope. They're actually long line bras. What I love about this is it's versatile. Not only can I tuck up this extra flap, make it more sporty, more sexy, or I can just keep it down. And with me and my short torso, it pretty much gives me full coverage. So right in the midsection, I'm good. Pair that with the high-waisted leggings, even better. Let's not forget they came out with toppers, t-shirts. <laughs> I call them toppers, it's just a t-shirt. And onesies as well. Their onesies are really, really comfortable. This material has a slippery to the touch feel. So automatically, this is great for the warm weather. This material is really great for wicking. So if you're out in the sun, hanging out with the girls, even going for a bike ride, you could do a lot with this collection. Their shorts are my favorite at the moment for tight fit shorts because they're six inches. You guys know me, I don't like anything that's less than six inches. Don't do me like that. Overall, I do find this collection to be very true to size. I'm happy with my true size small. So the fact that they got the six incher, that's a plus. The versatile sports bra, plus. And the option for different types of styling, such as the bodysuits, this is why this collection is my perfect athleisure wear. Collection number two, none other than, you guessed it, if you know me, you know the Adapt Collection is still one of my favorites. Now, it might be a little different than what you expect expect to hear, but my top two favorites in the Adapt Collection are the new camo and the fleck. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with the Adapt Collection, it's basically an umbrella term. So within this collection, you have the camo, the animal, the fleck. I believe the marl's still a thing? It used to be the ombre. You gotta look at them like siblings. They're similar, but different in some ways. The camo. Boy, oh, boy has this changed. <laughs> From the OG camo to now, it's like two totally different animals, really. So the one that's gonna be on sale that we're aware of, this one, is my current favorite. This one's the lava print, I guess you can say. It's a jacquard design where you can feel that print. 
it comes off of the set. It's cool, it's three dimensional. Looks like a bunch of terrain to me. I think it's pretty dope. It's got that rough and tough material for the gym. It is seamless. Now the reason I didn't add the animal in here, take a wild guess. It's actually because the animal still has that old scrunch on it and I much prefer this new updated raised seam contour. Granted, of course, I'd love to see a different style scrunch here just in its place, but I think this is a real step in the right direction. It still helps to emphasize the glutes a little bit, but it's not obnoxious. I noticed that with the sports bra, I'm actually wearing it right now. This sports bra, I sized up to a medium and it's perfect. My small was just too damn snug. Then on the other hand, when they launched these alongside, right? The Tarzan one shoulder strap with the lace back design. I was a little bit bummed because when I got my true size small in, it sagged right down here. There was excess material and it just wasn't as flattering as I thought it could have been. So I sized down to an extra small and now it's perfect. I also recently sized up in the bottoms for the camo and I'm really happy, especially in the shorts I'm happy because these shorts dug in my thighs a little bit. So I sized up to a medium, they're great. I really have always loved the fleck because I think the minimal design is a nice switch up. It's there, but it's not. And it's really great at concealing sweat. So is the camo. You'll never detect sweat because there's a lot going on here. Now, if I'm in the mood for something a bit more strappy, but yet more supportive, this is the bra I'll go with this is double layered the leggings to me are very similar to the camo although you don't have that jacquard design that 3d grip it's still seamless you still have an ample amount of stretch in it still very comfortable to move around in you still have that thicker material really great gym set that's durable that will hold up that's not gonna rip and tear on you that's really super squat proof too I have to say with Gymshark's adapt collection this is the one collection that I don't really have to worry that much when it comes to sheerness because of the thicker materials used. Now, I definitely think their fleck is pretty consistent, very true to size. Again, if I just want a durable gym set, the adapt line is where I'm gonna gravitate towards. Collection number three. If you guys are looking for some comfortable sweats, look no further than the Rest Day collection. Ever since I first experienced the Rest Day collection, I have been on the hunt for every single solitary color that they come out with. So if they come out with a new color, I'm automatically getting it. It's really like that. What I love about the Rest Day collection, not only is it very super minimal, like the branding itself, just the shark face logo embroidered as it should be. It's very basic, very minimal branding. The colors that they come out with are minimal too. You might have a marl design and that's about it. Other than that, it's solid tone. I also really love the fact that they come naturally oversized. So my true size small is oversized perfection. Another thing I like about the sweats, they're very dense and durable, pretty thick, but they're not plush on the inside. The inside is a terry cotton. Now I'm actually wearing the rest day shorts. They're like grandpa shorts on me. The great length that I love. Oh, I always choose them over anything. Even when I'm going for a car ride, getting out of the house for a while. They also have their rest day bralettes, super comfy. So if you want to wear under here without wearing anything uncomfortable or tight sports bras, rest day bras are awesome. And I I have fallen in love with their rest day slides. All neutrals, they go with all my rest day sweats. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now a hard runner up, which I'm wearing right now, is the new Collegiate. They came out with this collection a few months ago. This is very similar to the rest day, but very different at the same time. Let me tell you why. So the inside, ever, 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 so slightly softer than the rest day. Not even close to plush still though. Way more lightweight hoodie than the rest day. So if you're looking for an alternative for the summer months, okay? You don't want anything as heavy as the rest day sweats. Collegiate is a nice alternative. The only thing with Collegiate, number one, it's newer, so there's not as many options to choose from. They also have bigger branding, like massive branding on these sweats. So if you're somebody who's like, no way, minimal branding or nothing, stick to the rest day sweats. If you're somebody who doesn't mind bigger branding, it gives more of a collegiate feel, more varsity, if you will, then check out the collegiate because it is oversized just like the rest day. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that the collegiate is gonna be today's honorable mention. Collection number four, are you ready? None other than the legacy collection. 
It's called Legacy for a reason. This is the old school Gymshark logo that they use. The newest Legacy has been popping off. Not only did they come out with neutrals, but they also came out with bright colors. Now this is traditionally Gymshark's bodybuilding collection. There's no way I'm a bodybuilder, but I like to lift some weights here and there. Yes, I do. They created the bandeau style Legacy bra. I love it because the straps are super thick and even better, the straps have a swan hook. So you can actually take them off and adjust them, put them over double side straps, whatever concept you wanna come up with, you have options now. Now, even though I typically like to wear seamless to the gym, the Legacy is an exception. The seams that are here are placed in such a way to work for you. And did I mention that there is a very natural scrunch bump on these leggings? Did I mention that? Well, now I am. The Legacy scrunch has always reminded me of the Whitney. You can see it when holding it up, but when wearing it, like nothing ever happened. The material is soft, stretchy, a lot thinner than the Adapt collection. So this is more hot weather friendly. I also really like these shorts. Now they're a little short for me, but I know my gals who really like to lift and when it's leg day, you're wearing nothing but shorts. The Legacy is your best friend. You have little toggles on the side so you can adjust it, make it even shorter. I feel like the Legacy collection is like yoga wear, but made for lifting weights. They designed it in a way where it's acceptable to do so. They also recently came out with t-shirt shrugs. If you guys remember one of my recent Gymshark hauls, I was loving those and I still am. This is such a cute addition to put on one of these sets. This actually gives more of a rugged feel to it. Now the thing with this collection is you have to like that old school branding. Some pieces have massive logos, the other pieces smaller. I know the newest pieces that just launched, which I have right here right now, they're tonal. All of the logos are very, very tonal. Out of all the Legacy collections that have launched within the past few years, the newest one is my favorite. The color palette, the tonal logos, I think they really nailed it. I forgot to say that the Legacy is true to size. It's true to size. In between size down for the Legacy. Speaking of bodybuilding collections, Let's talk about the power. That made it to my top five. Can you believe it? Just like the Legacy, the Power Collection is a bodybuilding, weight lifting collection. Here's a big reason I love this collection. This actually feels cool to the touch. It's that type of material, so great for the warm summer months. The big takeaway is this glute scrunch. This is way more in your face than the Legacy. Legacy disappears completely when you put it on your bum. The Power doesn't quite do that. This scrunch pretty much stays looking like this when wearing it. If you're somebody with very small glutes. I don't think this scrunch bum is gonna be as flattering as you might like it to be. Now, back in the day, the Power Collection used to have insanely large logos. Just like the Legacy and the Rest Day, the Power also has a men's line. This hoodie, it's a long crew sweater, very, very comfortable, but now you can see what I mean with the big, large branding. Some pieces have large branding, newer pieces not so much. They also have tees, which make for some really great pump covers. They also have a women's sweat set. This one's great too, but it's not a full length. It's actually a cropped full zip. But if you're somebody who likes a little crop to their sweat set, check out the power sweats. They're very comfortable. Now again, the power collection is not a seamless range, but it fits so lightweight. I actually really like the shorts because they don't cinch in around the thighs. That's hard to come by these days, I find. The power bras are wonderful because you have this extra piece of material that highlights the chest. I feel like if you have breasts to fill it out, this will look amazing over your cleavage. It will give you such a nice outline. I feel like this collection is super true to size. If you're in between, you could probably get away with sizing down because it's so stretchy. Now, as you can see, they have quite a variety when it comes to solid tones or prints. So if you got that wild side, you can check out the Power Collection. If you have more of a minimal solid side, you can check out the Power Collection. <laughs> <laughs> I just think the power collection has a lot to offer. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is just my personal opinion. I always base things off of how I like them, what, how they fit me and my body type. So by all means, if we have differing opinions, it's all good. That is why I encourage you to comment your favorites down below. And if you are not inclined to comment, I always encourage you to at least read the comments. You might get a better idea of what you're looking for. Because again, I am just one person sharing my thoughts and opinions. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out my ultimate sale guide video. That's just there waiting for you at this point. It's like, hey, you gonna freaking watch me or what? I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I will catch you in my next video. Mwah.